It's been a productive morning, even though we're just getting started. Hello and happy Wednesday, Dr. G here. I've been feeling so much better when I get up early and like get my day started because otherwise I'm just dragging and I'm wasting time. It's been a productive day. I got up around 6.30 and headed over to the office. I want to get back in the habit of kind of keeping myself on the same schedule so that I can just work out of my office and use the space more because I'm more productive and I find more opportunities for my business and for myself when I'm out of the house dressed and like ready to go somewhere. So I actually have a few doctor's appointments for myself today. So I have to go to my dentist. So that's this morning at 9.15. That's my first stop. And I have an orthopedic appointment at 11 and that's for um, my hip we have a few training meetings in between with the school system that I work with and then just like work I need to do for reach so the goal is to get some invoices done today we do have to invoice the government when we see our clients and so I do that every two weeks invoicing is boring it's probably like my least favorite thing to do when I think about tasks for the business on a regular basis like admin stuff I need to go ahead and get that done today I will have the kids this afternoon it's my evening with them so that's the plan I actually have a call for the trip that I'm taking in April we're doing that with all the chaperones that are going it's been a productive morning even though we're just getting started and once I head to my dentist's office it's a new practice and it's really pretty so I will show you guys that and we'll just go throughout the day so please hold okay we have a quick change of plans I just got a phone call from my kids school that my six-year-old has an irritated eye so I have to go pick him up and bring him back to the office the good thing is he can stay here while I have my meetings and go to my doctor's appointments because the babysitter's here and my assistant Bree is here today the joys of being a mom and working and owning a business and doing contract work and all the things that I do but I'm grateful that he can come here so I'm I'm gonna go get him and then we will be on a roll for the morning. Before I go though, I'm gonna switch my bag over because I don't wanna take my big bag to the doctor. I'm gonna take my insurance card. This is the wallet that I prefer to use. It's like double-sided, so you can keep everything in here. And I have one side for all my business cards. I wanna have access to, but I don't need every day. Then I have one side for my personal cards. I keep all of my like everyday cards in this card holder. I have my license in here, like the debit and credit cards that I use for personal and business, all the keys I need access to, and then my car keys, and it just stays like this. I've actually bought this in Miami with my best friend, and I use it every day, and I love it. It's from Louis Vuitton, love it. Matches my bag, you know? Matches the wallet, they're family. I'm gonna take the strap out of here. I'm gonna put that in the front so that it'll fit everything, okay. And then I like to take some gum with me. So I really like this. I bought this off a of fashion file. If I can find one, I'll link it below for you guys because listen, this bag is a game changer. I'm gonna put my Aquaphors and I'll take two lens wipes because I like to keep those on me just in case. So that's just what I'll keep in the center here. So that's like that. Keys are in the front. And then I will put my phone back here. Oh, I need my headphones because I will be listening to my training while I'm at my dentist's office because it's gonna overlap with what time my appointment starts, like that. And I'll bring a mask. I'll put it back here because this bag has a zipper in the back, which I love. So that's in here. And then I'm gonna put the straps on it. Just where it, I actually like the height, the length right here where it hits me. I can just put on my shoulder from like getting out the car real quick. And we are about to get up out of here because I gotta go get my child and get to the dentist. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Okay, 
I'm done at the dentist and I'm now going to my next appointment for the orthopedic doctor. Let me say something. This hot chocolate that they made me, can y'all see it? This is the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. It was such a nice experience. I gave them the longest review. Not only did they give me stuff to eat, hot chocolate, they made it for me before I went in and then it got cold so they made me more. They give you a gift card if you write a review. So I wrote a very long detailed review. I'm really big about that, especially because I'm a business owner and I know how important good reviews are for businesses that are doing a good job. So I did that and now I am running to my next appointment. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later, but just know I'm in the best mood ever because this hot chocolate is popping. And it was a good experience overall. So I'll be back. Okay, that was literally the quickest appointment <laughs> of life, but not because the doctor was rushing. He was actually very nice. So I can go back to the office because I have a good few other things I need to do before this day is over and I take the kids home. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience. Oh my God. Happy Wednesday. I am testing my first kit tomorrow using the platform and I wanted to just make sure when I went through, I knew like how to do it seamlessly so that I'm not looking like the newbie that I am on camera with the student. That was fun. Okay, I'm about to interview an intern, a new intern. You're not on the camera, unless you want to be on the camera. All right. My name is Morgan. You understand entrepreneurship, at least being a child of two entrepreneurs and business owners. That's definitely what's happening here. Everything about the internship, we're making it as we go. The main thing is when I started it, I wanted to get students who were interested in the medical field so that you guys could have access to working with individuals with disabilities. So that was kind of how it started. I realized when I started getting my interns that you guys were just not ready for like a lot of them, we're not. It kind of shifted to kind of like a life enrichment situation, making sure that you guys had a plan, like how to apply for school, where do you want to go, what, sh what are you going to do in school, and then helping kind of fill in the gaps. Like what do you need to know about credit, about finance, making sure that you have a good idea of how you're going to be successful once you graduate. I didn't want to neglect that piece because I could see students making some poor choices, not even intentionally, it's just you just don't know, right? So that's where we are. Actually, let me give you my number now so you can go ahead and have that. I'm looking for my phone that I'm... Just so you have the majority of the day and, and the destination you want to 